36? 69, 70! Stop looking at my ass! I wasn't looking at your ass. I know. No one ever does. A little thin for my taste. But nice. What are you going for, a swim? What do you care? You think I got a fat ass and I only swim because I float easily? I was just making conversation. I'm doing a three-way. A what? A triathlon. Sounds like you got way too much time on your hands. F you! You like a stay-at-home cheerleader, do you? Pathetic. You know what? F you, bitch. I'll beat you. Come on. I promise. <laughs> I bet you like to beat women. I wonder why your ass is sink. Perfect beach start! I got this locked in! Come on! Shit, you need a vacation or something, lady. Are you for real? I'm not even feeling it. Man, I really ain't dressed for this shit. Damn, that's cold. I'm a hundred percent not with you! Not enough in the tank. I should have tapered. Did you taper? What the hell are you talking about? Before a race. Hey, you fucking tapered! You out of your fucking mind! The first I knew about this was see Skinny ass on the beach! I said you were checking me out! This is a disaster! I should have had an energy bar! I'm trying! Not you, idiot! Me! Pathetic! I blame the transition! You seem to be going through some kind of change, lady! I'm 39, you son of a bitch! How did I forget the arrow helmet? Can't bonk! Can't bonk! Gotta get my cadence up! You're making no sense right now! Have you seen a dog anywhere? Yeah! It went down the beach, I think! Well, great, you won! Aren't you gonna gloat? Look, we both survived. These things are about taking part, not winning, right? No, it is always about winning! All right, I gotta keep going. I'm a loser. Fat, unmarried, career-driven loser! Hey, girl, you better chill the fuck out! Go to hell!
It's me, dog. Where we at? We're at Enzo Benelli. Mafia guy turned real estate developer. He's bullied his way onto half the building contracts in Los Santos. Extortion, murder, labor racketeering, you name it. There's not a construction worker in town earning a livable wage right now, and Gold Coast Development is about to go under. <laughs> and let me guess, you got a personal interest in Gold Coast, right? <laughs> Anyone think you'd done this before? Uh, according to Benelli's cell phone, he's at the construction site downtown. It's done. One small problem. My source squealed. Benelli's expecting a hit. Watch yourself and go equipped. You'll have a lot of muscle. And you're telling me to calm down? I'm going to stay near the chopper. You dumb fucks do your job. Get in my way! Where's Enzo? Where the fuck is he? I'll blaze all these fools if I have to! I'm putting you out of business, motherfuckers! Where's 
Enzo! Fools if I have to. Someone put a fool in. Enzo's gonna have so much fun for this. I'm putting you out of business, motherfuckers. Taken care of, but man, that shit went south. I know. We better let this simmer now. Way too much heat. Very nice work, Franklin. Treasure trove. That's a perfectly good sock. Just ignore us. Yes, don't mind us. Pretend we're not here. Okay. You're not Jock Cranley, are you? Actor and artist? I love your work. Oh, stunt double. Oh, our favorite show. Mrs. Thornhill, snap. Watch the birdie. Oh, we pretend to throttle me. <laughs> yeah, yes, like you did on that on that poster you did. Yeah, okay, all that would be my pleasure. <laughs> oh. uh, like that, huh? Yeah. Oh. Like that. Maybe something oh. like this. Or oh. like that. Huh? You like that? That's enough, huh? now, dear. You like that? Oh. 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 oh, hey. Thank you. Mm. Wow, that's quite a woman oh. there, huh? Oh. We are not worthy. We're, We're not, not worthy. worthy. We're, We're not. not I'm, uh, I'm not Jock. Uh, what's his name? Cranley. 
big star in the 80s. We well, love celebs. That's why we came to Tinseltown. Yes, yeah. before we met you, we were trying to break in to Bruce Spade's house and steal his rubbish. The things these stars throw away. Oh. They're not like you or me. <laughs> Mrs. Thornhill has the most unbelievable collection of celebrity underwear and bathroom products. Things they've actually used themselves. You guys have a great vacation, all right? I gotta go. We could do with some help. All this climbing over walls and rooting through bins. It's such a business. Nigel's got an arthritic knee. Yeah. What do you, uh, what do you need? Just a few Vinewood souvenirs for my mm. museum. No, no, look, look, look at this map. I mean, a lot of these places have famous people living in them and some that are just hanging about. Bring us some things. I'd be very thankful indeed. Americans are the most wonderful people in the world, aren't they? The best! <laughs> Such fun! <laughs> <laughs> I miss you already. What the F word are you doing here? That's a funny way to greet your cousin. You ain't my G-damn cousin, Trevor. I thought we was family. But please, just go and ruin somebody else's home furnishings. Who the F is that, boy? No one, my sweet. Hey, by any chance, did you catch crabs at that conference? I heard that those conferences are regular little fuck fest, huh? Guy, come in. Huh? I'd like you to leave mm. right now. Oh yeah, some serious corporate gang banging going on, right? Yeah, with every executive and director of communications from here to Bangalore taking it left, right, and center in the name of team training, right? I mean, now that's what Floyd told me yesterday as he was staring at my uh, my penis. I want you to leave. Look, this is all I've got, all right? I had a tough upbringing. My daddy was not nice to me, okay? And look, Deborah, I love you and I love you too, Floyd. Why can't we all just be together, huh? You can have Mondays through Thursdays. You can have the weekends, all right? I know that's not normal, but in this crazy, crazy world, is normal so good, huh? Look, Deborah, Floyd, will you marry me? Get out of my condo! And you go too, Floyd! I told you! I've got a career! I don't need this! 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 Crap! Yes! There. <laughs> you made me swear. You're crap, Floyd! Crap! <laughs> You're not a man at all. <laughs> Bob's right about you. Oh, who's Bob? I want both of you to go now, you and your weird friend. Whoa! Hey! My name is Trevor, sweetheart. I could give a fuck what your fucking name is! I'm not afraid to use this. I'm not. Bob taught me. Fuck Bob! You people are not very fucking nice! Oh, hey there, Trevor. <laughs> oh. mm, hey there, Wade. Did you meet Gebra? Mm, interesting lady. I should probably go say hi. I wouldn't. Why not? Let's go get in the car. All right. Let's go have the time of our lives. Just the place. I could run in and get Floyd and Deborah. I know she seems kinda uptight, but she can have fun. Mmm, no. I don't think she can, Ray. Just Floyd then? Floyd's gonna meet us there. Floyd's trip? Exactly. Oh, Trevor, maybe you got all over yourself. You're all red. You got you got syrup? Yeah. Syrup. 
accident. We've all been there. We sure have, but... But it don't taste like syrup. Don't taste me, all right? Just no licking. Okay. Hey, you remember when we met? Sure. Last year. I was on the way to the gag ring with Daisy Bell and Kush Tronic and... And you stopped in Sandy Shores to get lit and you met a dealer and he looked after you when your friends had abandoned you. That was weird, weren't it? The last time I saw him, it was with you, driving out to the quarry, and then they just disappeared. Poof, right? I mean, they were gone. Some friends, right? And now, Cousin Deborah don't want you around? I mean, there's a pattern here. The Congo did get messy. The pattern is, you can't rely on anyone. Anyone except me. Look, this is it. This is where Floyd is gonna meet us at strip club? Oh yeah. That guy like him. He's a real homebody. He loves that apartment. Interestingly, you and me, we got a new home. Where? <laughs> here. Right here. Here? <laughs> here. Now, I know it's unconventional, but that's the way we roll, homie. Hey, you two. You two, I want you to give this boy a good time. <laughs> For a long time. <laughs> hey, gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Tell me where the manager is for this fine establishment. Through there and take two doors to the right. Mm -hmm. Through there. To the right. Thank you. Amigo! Prepare to meet your new partner. Hey, Lester. Hey, uh, Trevor just called about the, um, the big one, the, the UD. You know anything? Yeah, I told him we could hit it. You down? Of course I'm down. Look, I'll get my research together and meet you at Trevor's. He's taking over the Vanilla Unicorn Gentlemen's Club. All right, message Franklin. Mr. DeSanta, good to see you. My family came home today. We gotta get it in. Hell hey, yeah! Hey. I asked for your number, but they took my phone. Before you ask, the fridge is broken. That's all right. I've had enough of your hospitality already. I have changed my ways, all right? Huh? Yeah, I'm done with that crazy shit, all right? I want to square things away with Meriwether, make sure the agency ain't coming back after us, and then do one last big score, and then you get to go back with your family. Me, I'm just going to live here. I'm going to run this, this good business showing people a good time. B bust Brad out of prison, and then, you know, happy. So how'd you come by this place anyway? I've had it for ages. So you must know Leon, the old manager. Leon? I didn't know. <laughs> yeah, whatever, man. So what's going on here? What's going on is the big one. A long, long time ago in a faraway place, there were three guys. Michael, Trevor, and Lester. And Brad. I, uh, yeah. Sure, Brad was there sometimes as well. I mean, there are other guys, though, too. So, uh, anyway, we uh, robbed and lied and we hurt people. Pretty much lived a low-life kind of existence. But always dreaming of one thing and one thing only. The big one. The big one. The, the big, big one. one! What is the big one? <laughs> the Union Depository. Around 200 million in gold bricks, all taken from kindly Uncle Sam, who will spend the rest of our lives being hunted by government officials if 
we live through the attempt, but... But! It'll be my, uh, our masterpiece. So, gentlemen, let's do our civic duty and get out there and find some gainful employment. This way. Let's go. Big one. We, uh, taking the temperature? Yeah, you know, getting a feel for it. Security, exit routes, general vibe. That doesn't look like much. Man, security looks light. We send in a couple of sprung niggas, clap, clap. What are you talking about, Frank? Oh, I see it. Man, getting in the door is easy. It's a standard bank. It's getting underground that's hard. Ain't that where the metal's kept? Right. Now we gotta stop outside the Arcadia Center down on Alta Street. We can get a view of the back from there. Hey man, you might not notice it, but I picked up a few things rolling with you. I mean, there's times I think I gotta be the senior partner in the group. From the way you and Trevor behave. Ah, oh, sorry. There's history there. Yeah, it still ain't fully been explained to me though. No? Well, remind me to go over with you again sometime. But not now. Look, dawg. Light again, man. Yeah, fucking eerie, ain't it? Man, you think they put more than one motherfucker on our national fucking reserves? Yeah, huh? Well, maybe we really are broke. Trevor, how are you doing? Uh, well, uh, I like clockwork, Mikey. I like clockwork. You mentioned a uh, job before. Something we could help you with? I ain't even talked to Mike about it yet, but he's gonna be on board. He's obligated. What is it? Ain't it obvious? Bustin' Brad out of the clink. I need to talk to Michael about it. Oh, fine. Shit. I was gonna pay you, man. When there ain't an obvious profit in something, you're a hard guy to motivate. One who keeps talking about the schedule, Lest. Come on! They 
do, so we'd have to hit it twice, once to distract him, and once to get it done. You're gonna find someone willing to get caught hitting a super bank just as a distraction? I was thinking, Michael, it might appeal to his ego. Oh, what am I saying? We got the perfect guy for it. Come in, Michael! We have a visual on the convoy! Keep with him, T. Do whatever Les needs you to do. We're mapping the route and finding an ambush point. Stay with them! What kind of ambush spot are we looking for? I tend to wait in the jaw and catch them with their drawers down, but I guess that won't work here. No, it, uh, won't. We're looking for somewhere with cover for us and no escape routes for them. Ah, the same principle as a men's room. Yeah, uh, I guess. <laughs> Six in sight. Stand by. Hey, I was expecting you 30 seconds ago. Tell that to the traffic. <laughs> All right. Onion 86 in the building. Now, if I remember from planning the tool store job, they're excavating the new LS Metro Tunnel around here. They take us around the building and find the construction. Roger that! Looking for a big asshole!
forever. I think I've got everything I need to make some plans. ideas. It's gonna take a while to get them together or work them up, but I think there's a way. It's not impossible. All right. I'll start thinking about the breakout, too. Bradley Snyder. He's getting bored. Talk to Michael, okay? Goodbye. 